Fearless Mary by Tammy Charles, illustrated by Claire Alman. In the city of Cascade, Montana, Mary Fields sees help wanted signs everywhere. The city needs a new stagecoach driver to make deliveries to a school, St. Peter's Mission. It's a good job, an important job, but a dangerous one too. It's 1895. Sending supplies and messages to Cascade is easy thanks to telegraphs and trains, but the trails that snake through the mountains up to St. Peter's make it almost impossible to reach. The best way to deliver the mail there is by stagecoach. Outlaws prey on stagecoaches, which carry valuable supplies, money, and food. Wild animals prey on them, too. The stagecoach is usually guarded by one person, the driver. To do the job, you need to be smart, tough, unshakable. As a former slave who traveled to the West alone to seek opportunity, Mary Fields is all of those things. With the job comes respect and high wages, nearly $75 a month. With that kind of pay, a person can live a good life. But most people think a job like this is meant for men, not women, and especially not an ex-slave. Getting the job will be hard for Mary. Even though the Wild West is supposed to be a land of opportunity, everything is segregated. Whites only restaurants, whites only jobs, whites only pay. That doesn't stop Mary. It only makes her want to prove that everyone should be equal, including women. So the next day, Mary gallops into town, face pointed toward the sky, ready to take her chance. At least 40 cowboys try out for the job, and Mary steps right up with them. We don't hire people like you, the manager says. Mary stands tall and squares her shoulders. She lived the first 33 years of her life without freedom, and now she'd spend the rest of it making sure she got an equal shot at a good life. I'm Mary Fields. I can outride any man trying out for this job. Mary refuses to leave. She waits her turn to show what she can do. One by one, the cowboys try their best. They swing their lassos, saddle up the horses real fine, but Mary knows she can do that and more. So she steps forward again, but the manager points. I said not you. You don't belong here. I'll show you I do. And she does. Mary hitches six horses, cracks her whip, speeds up the hill and back around. The horses hooves clomping an earthquake shaking sound. She is a force. What's your name again? The manager asks. I'm Mary Fields, but you can call me Fearless. No need to look further. The job is hers. No African-American woman has ever been hired to drive a stagecoach in Cascade or in the rest of the country. Mary Fields is the first. Being first is hard. Not everyone likes the idea of a woman driving a stagecoach. Some believe Mary can't do the job because she is a woman, because of the color of her skin. But Mary is unbreakable, unshakable. She travels rugged mountain trails. It's hard to navigate, but Mary can read all kinds of maps, including star patterns in the dark sky. Thieves try to steal from her wagon. Little do they know, Mary's got herself a pet eagle, trained as her faithful protector. They don't stand a chance. On one moonless night, Mary's wagon hits a gully. Horse screams pierce the air. Packages fly everywhere, and a gang of hungry wolves creeps out from the shadows. Mary's cargo is important. Food to feed the school children, letters for loved ones, sent from far away. It's her job to protect her horses and make sure the children at St. Peter's receive their packages. Mary stands guard all night, iron weapon pressed against her back. With the eagle at her side, she keeps the wolves at bay until the sun rises and chases them away. Mary never loses a single horse or package. Word of Mary's courage spreads throughout Cascade. She becomes a hometown hero. 
the stagecoach driver who fended off wolves, trudged through heavy snow and never missed a single day of work. No task was too small, no task too dangerous. And in time, she would become known as a groundbreaker, a history maker. Mary ri rides those trails for eight years, until she is in her 70s. More women begin to drive stagecoaches and deliver mail across the United States. Fearless like Mary, faces pointed to the sky. As the years go by, cars, telephones, and airplanes are invented. Delivering the mail becomes easier, less dangerous, and thanks to Mary and others like her, a job held by many women. Today, Mary's bravery is remembered in Cascade and throughout the country. Delivery men and women still face long days on the road and harsh weather at times, but nothing like the dangers Mary faced in the Wild West. Every now and then, if you listen closely, you'll hear her voice whispering in the wind, 